So today on Project Shop, we were in the middle of a massive shop scrap out. I mean, we got barrels and you can't even see the scrap we got out front. And um, then I came across this, uh, what I would call the holy grail of lighting transformers, okay? This is a 1500 watt sport lighter. And um, I think I've only had these on the channel a couple times. And they're very rare for a couple reasons. One, the only place that I've ever got them from was from sport lighters at a ball field or something like that, okay? And uh, the where I got this one, when I picked it up from the guy, he had one of these with a bunch of other little transformers, but then he had a bunch of 1500 watt bulbs that he had changed out. And I'm like, man, you know, you changed out all them bulbs, but you only changed out one transformer and he goes yeah he goes the he goes he even talked to the rep about it and the rep told him yeah he goes we build those those are the highest quality transformers out of all of them i've never come across one i think one time i came across one that had an aluminum coil um but i think that was only once literally in like you know 13 years that I've been doing this. Um, they're always double copper coils. And look how big they are. They're, they're usually two big giant coils. This is a thousand watt transformer. And this thing looks like a baby compared to it. This is a 400 water. And that looks like a baby, you know? And then that is a baby compared to it. <laughs> um, so I'm pretty sure these weigh like 20 pounds or something like that. Um, I don't have a double copper thousand water. I think these uh, these coils here is aluminum. That's copper. Fortunate. It's just the way it is. Um, but these are pretty much almost always going to be double copper. And um, unfortunately, the guy I used to get a bunch of these from, uh, they wind up changing them. All the contracts that they had, they changed all the ball fields to LEDs. So I don't even, I mean, I got all of the light fixtures and the um, transformers. Oh, I could barely pick that up with one hand. That man, it's a workout. We're just gonna weigh this real quick. Whoa. That is 30.5 three pounds that is a serious transformer now unfortunately i have my hydraulic pump over here set up on this machine because we're gonna pull the copper out of these later so i'm gonna see if i can't break this thing down by hand and see what the percentage on this is I don't think I've ever done the percentage on a 1500 watt transformer on the channel. So, we're going to see if we can liberate this. Now, usually, every one that I've ever had, they've always had this bracket welded on. I don't know why, but it's there, and we have to actually deal with that on a second press. Okay. Not bad. Okay. Oh, you know what? Well, I guess we can just measure the copper. Now, if we if I had my press over here, that would have literally taken 10 seconds or or, or whatever. Now, we're just going to, oh, we're going to have to do one more step here. Because this bracket, and the way this machine works, so you have to put the coils there. So that bracket, unfortunately, has to be bent down like so. 
okay? And then, that pump's in low gear. That ain't good. That thing's leaking like crazy. Well, it's been two years. I, I really can't complain. As much abuse as we put it through. Okay, now, let's weigh these coils. Let's just tear this. Zero. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> Zero. Eight point four pounds. That's pretty impressive. That's a nice chunk. Now imagine um, having a whole pile of these and and me running them through my machine at at like three to five a minute. We'd be producing a lot. So we had 30.3 pounds and 8.4 of it was copper. That's pretty good. I'm gonna uh, do some quick math and see what the percentage was. Okay, we had some very interesting numbers for that 1500 watt copper transformer. Uh, overall, it was 30.3 pounds, okay? Now I would have paid, and I did pay like 10 bucks for it. Um, actually it was like, cause uh, I get 320 a pound. So I, I would have paid 32 cents a pound for that. I probably paid like nine sixty nine nine seventy something like that. We're just gonna say ten ten dollars, close enough. Uh, so there was twenty one point nine pounds of steel. I literally just got ten cents a pound for steel, so that was worth two dollars and nineteen cents. There was eight point four pounds of number two copper. Last time I sold number two copper, I got three twenty a pound. So we're talking twenty six dollars and eighty eight cents worth of copper in that one transformer that's incredible it was 27.72 percent copper uh that's a nice percentage right there okay and it only took me literally a minute probably to break that down i don't know uh without the the first cracker you know and the second press that was leaking oil um so, uh, minus the $10 that I paid for it, I made $19.07 on that transformer, uh, which is incredible. Now, um, I did the math, like, if I were processing a bunch of those, um, if I did three a minute, I could have made $57.21 a minute processing them. Um, and then if you had enough i've never even had enough to run them for an hour but if you had enough to run them all day long or even for an hour you can make three thousand four hundred and thirty two dollars an hour processing them transforms now obviously that's kind of unrealistic because I, I get you know probably more transformers than most people and i've never come across enough 1500 waters to run them for an hour um, but hey, you know what? It's nice to dream. <laughs> and then if you got them for free, you know, uh, and, and you just were at the 2907, almost $30, uh, you'd be at $87.21. If you did three a minute times 60, you can make $5,232.60 an hour processing them if you can maintain a three transformer per minute average. I can easily do three a minute. That's light work. Um, five if I'm pushing it. So, I mean, if I just had a massive pile of them, I would be pushing that five a minute. 
and we could be well above that number. You know what I'm saying? So, copper transformers is where it's at. Now, unfortunately, and it's very sad because this was a huge part of my business, uh, copper transformers are going away like the wind, you know? Um, LEDs are just ruining my business, unfortunately. Now, even as you'll see in the massive scrap out that we're involved in right now, uh, I get tons of LEDs, all different sizes. They are not the end all be all. Um, now, they're definitely not as profitable as the HID lights because you're just not recovering copper. It's just buying dirty aluminum, cleaning it up, and then getting cast or sheet. Or if you're lucky, some extrusion, okay? But it's not like you're gonna be making you know, $20 a minute or, or whatever processing copper transformers like I did for years. Now, uh, these lights actually came from uh, that guy that I got that transformer from. Um, scrapping massive 1500 watt LED sport lighters. Um, they, they're basically changing those out to these giant sport lighters and they're going bad. Go watch this video. Um, I dropped it four months ago. If you haven't seen it, I, there's a massive plate of aluminum and a ton of extruded aluminum that I got out of those. Those sport lighters weighed like 80 pounds and there was minimal that I had to do to them. I basically just took them apart. There was a little plastic or glass lens and then a little piece of plastic and the rest was all aluminum, okay? That's the only good thing about the LEDs is they're basically a giant aluminum heat sink, okay? And um, it's not big chunks of heavy glass and stuff like that. So you're going to want to, um, if you can get them, get them cheap. I pay 15 cents a pound for them. I clean them up. I get 55 cents a pound, sometimes 70 for the extrusion, uh, 53 uh, cents for the sheet. I think 55 was for the casts. Most of them are heavy cast. Pretty much all the LEDs are heavy cast aluminum, you know? So there's still a little bit of money in lighting. It ain't going anywhere. I'm always going to have money coming from lighting maintenance. But it's definitely not, you know, it's not like what it used to be. Like the heyday of giant piles of transformers like that are uh, rapidly decreasing <laughs> so if you come as far thanks for watching i just thought that was interesting uh that i got a big transformer like that well not big compared to some of the other ones i've done on the channel but in the in the realm of lighting which is like my my staple my main thing um a 1500 watt transformer is like a unicorn man you, you just don't come across them that often and um, when you do pretty much they're always copper and um, they're they're a nice little bonus you know so if you can get them go out there and get them um, I, crazy thing is I've been getting an ad I don't know it's on my Facebook or Instagram somewhere I'm getting an ad for a company that does sport lightings but they're freaking in New Jersey uh, so if you're in New Jersey I'd go out there and uh, look for all the companies doing sport lighting because I think I'm going to uh, call around and uh, find out all the companies that are doing it down here in South Florida and um, try to get the last of the Mohicans of those big uh, double copper 1500 waters, man. It'd be nice to see a bunch of them come through um, and stack up on the table. <laughs> anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. See you on the next one. I'll tell you where we're going, right to the scrap yard.
Now, I really couldn't get on top of them like that, but I was coming in here in between, and this thing is just killing it. <laughs> That's way easier than drilling it out. So thank you for the people in the comments that were suggesting use this instead of a drill. So, I don't know if like, this is this considered some type of low grade e-waste board? Could you sell this just the way it is? With a little bit of aluminum? It's got a decent little transformer in there. Um, and then these toroidal transformers, which don't have too much copper on it, but let's just, let's just see what kind of copper this um, transformer has it's a little mini so most of the time these really small ones are going to have that ferrite steel and Oh, look at that. A little ribbon of copper there. Very interesting. So, we're just going to give that the, uh, the old hatchet treatment. And there you have it. Nice little chunk of uh, number two copper. Now, would it be worth breaking these down? Probably not. 